Hello there. A day and a Sunday afternoon. Uh, had some rain come through last night, so I picked a trail that hopefully won't be too washed out. It's a uh, popular trail today. Lots of people out here, and uh, so we'll film as we can. I think the uh, second half won't be quite as heavily trafficked. Speaking of trails, I'm out at the uh, soap trail, soap or soap mill trail uh, via the Cochrane Shoals. So, walking along the side of the Chattahoochee here, enjoying glorious fall Sunday. And uh, look to maybe get about eight miles in today, add to my big mile weekend. So we'll see how it goes. I have uh, deviated off from the uh, the main initial trail onto one that's a little bit narrower and a little bit less trafficked. There's still quite a few people out here. And a lovely field of wildflowers off to my right, which I'm enjoying as I travel along. Dodging uh, spots of mud and water along the way, as you can see. So. I have to be a little bit careful with my footing, but so far it's not too bad. We'll see how it is once I actually get up into some of the more natural trails. But for now, it's easy going. Okay, well I split off onto Cochrane Shoals proper, which this uh, area has no bike traffic on it. Uh, once I get up to Soap Mill, it will be mixed-use trail with bikes, I'm sure, out. As I suspected, the trail is quite a bit muddy here, especially in the uh, the low-lying areas. Um, I'm hoping that as I progress in away from the river and start getting a little bit more elevation, that the runoff will have been more effective and uh, we won't have quite the... Uh, the muddy terrain to navigate around or through. So, get some nice feeder creeks leading down to the Chattahoochee here. Just a, a nice calm day out here. I think I'm gonna enjoy myself today. Well, as I hoped and expected, once I uh, started getting a little elevation and pulled away from the waterways, trail conditions dramatically improved. Uh, you know, the ground's a little damp, as one would expect, but no spots of mud, no standing water. The runoff from the trail design worked as intended. And uh, yeah, I've got a good hike ahead of me, I think till I loop back down to the lowlands. So now it's a matter of dealing with the elevation, the ascent, and uh, seeing uh, what lies ahead. Now well, I'm continuing on, making my way. I've split off from the uh, Cochrane Shoals Trail onto the uh, connector that leads up to Soap Mill. 
Uh, so this particular section is two-way traffic for bikes and hikers. So you never know if I'll see someone coming or going. And I uh, found out as I was making my way up, that apparently I either missed signage or um, it wasn't there where I came onto the Cochrane Shoals Trail that uh, I have broke one of the rules and I'm, I'm not walking the proper direction. Uh, you know how hikers and bikers are supposed to go in opposite directions and uh, changing the direction on alternate days. Well, apparently I was going the same direction as the bikers today. And so, fortunately, bike traffic is low. There was only one couple that uh, came up behind past me and it was at a spot where I was conveniently able to step off to the side and pause, get a drink for a little bit while they made their way by by me but I'll have to keep that in mind as I make my way down but uh, hopefully the signage will be clear when I get up to soap mill so that I can ensure that I'm going the proper direction on that loop but for now continue on a few little muddy areas on this connector is some waterways cross the trail and there's some flatter spots where it is collected but for the most part trail is still continuing to be in good shape all things considered Well, I mentioned in my last video that uh, I had realized into the into the hike that I had passed the 650 mark uh, very early on and I uh, hadn't necessarily recognized the milestone. I was a little bit more conscious of things this time around. Uh, when I started out the hike, I knew I'd be hitting something significant today. Right now I'm sitting at 3.83 miles for today which brings me to a grand total of 666 miles, 0.66, which is two thirds of my goal. I am two thirds of the way towards my thousand mile destination. And uh, no special trail marker or anything to recognize this, but I'm at the point and the end is achievable. I know I've got a deficit right now but week by week, I'm whittling away at it. I know I'll make it up, and I know I'm gonna to get to the end of this. I've been told by others to you know, appreciate what I've been able to accomplish, regardless of whether or not I get to the end, but I'm gonna get there. I'm confident, I feel good about things, and I just wanna take this moment at this, uh, this significant percentage mark, two thirds of the way, and uh, to say, best is yet to come. I'm gonna finish this out strong. Well, I'm done with the soap mill loop back down on Cochrane Shoals and uh, well, made a bad start so I got to continue it but so I'll be on the lookout for bikes going my way uh, didn't want to backtrack and repeat where I'd already gone so we'll just be careful I'm not the only one out here going the wrong direction uh, right after I came back through the uh, connecting trail trail runner came up behind me glanced at the sign and then he proceeded head in the same direction I'm gonna I'm going and uh, well hope he uh, he ends up as safe as I plan on 
But continuing on, it's uh, still being a good day. Did see a lot more bike traffic up on the uh, soap mill trail than I did on Cochrane Shoals, so we'll see if that uh, continues to pan out. But uh, yeah, heading downhill now, watching my footing, and we'll check in as we go. Well, I'm continuing on. Fortunately, no bikes have come my way, but I have had encounters with a few other people on the trail, um, a couple of runners and a couple of hikers. As you can see, we're getting back down to where we've got uh, some problematic trail situations. The uh, exposed Georgia clay is very slick in areas, even when it's not um, you know, pooled up water or uh, set mud. And uh, just having to be careful and cognizant of uh, what I'm dealing with. But I uh, expect it'll just continue to trend in that direction as I continue to make my way down back closer to the river. So, figure I've got maybe somewhere about a mile and a half to go or so. But uh, we'll see. It's been a good day out here. Quiet for the most part once I got past the initial high traffic area. No real wildlife to speak of. I did see the one squirrel. I don't know if you caught it on the time lapse footage. But uh, that's been about it. Uh, I've heard some birds calling in the distance, including just re just a few minutes ago an owl. But uh, other than that, it's just been quiet. All right, well, I'm getting close to back where the uh, Cochrane Shoals dumps back into the uh, the main thoroughfare from the parking lot. And knowing that that will probably be highly trafficked and congested, I'm not gonna try and do any filming there. So I'm gonna go ahead and close things out here. As I've said, it's been a quiet day. You know, I had my big significant milestone achievement, which, you know, that's enough. Don't need any more than that for a hike. So, thanks for coming along with me, for being here for that moment. And we will see you on the next trail. <laughs>